Hello wonderful people, I hope you guys are well. It is absolutely boiling in London, I am cooking, my face is sweating, but um, it's my go to do a YouTube video and it has been my go for a very very long time and I just haven't done it. So, um, I wanted to talk about uh, my five lessons of music business. My five lessons, the things I've learned throughout the years as a musician, as someone trying to make money online with my music, these are the five things I've learned throughout the years, which obviously it would have been great to have a mentor at the time, five years ago, but I didn't. But it would have been lovely if someone had told me these amazing words of wisdom. Um, I wrote it here, but it's a complete mess. Man, I hate it. And yeah, I doodled some flowers. Anywho, so. My first, first uh, thing I'd say, number one of five, get focused early. Know what you wanna do in life early and get started, get cracking. Know what sparks you up, know what lights you up, know what you're passionate about, know what brings that fire and that energy and that thing you say, oh my God, I love this, I want to make money from this, I want this in my career. Get that started early, figure out your passions early, try lots of things and see what you're naturally good at, right? In life, you have to find what you enjoy and obviously what can make you financially you know viable um, and obviously if you're able to gel the two together and find the thing you're passionate about and make money from it you're on cloud nine my friend amazing stuff so get focused early get focused early guys because it takes people a long long time in music it takes a long time to be successful you know unless you go viral or something which is you know very 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 rare um but it often takes people several years you know ed sheeran you know he played what like a thousand two thousand shows before he was even signed you know shows every night doing two or three gigs a night you know dua lipa apparently she started very early as well like for 10 years she was trying to get into the scene amy winehouse pff, way way earlier you know playing in those small jazz clubs and getting all that experience so I think the key is to start early because by the time you're successful and you really hit it and you know what you're doing you'll be like way ahead in the game you know if you started early if you start early later on in life you're able to do that too like no judgment people figure out their dreams later on in life it's just it's so great if you figure it out early and you get cracking early number two uh, do things together so the big mistake I made is I was like, write my EP, I'm gonna record the songs, woohoo, woohoo. And I spent like a year recording my music, um, putting a hold on learning about marketing, putting, I mean, I was dabbling around and I was learning, yes, but I wasn't implementing it. I wish at the time, you know, I was recording my songs and I was uploading stuff on Spotify, um, like little, not a Spotify, sorry, uploading stuff on Instagram, little snippets of me in the studio, building the culture from then on before the music was even done but in my head it was i have to have a product first and then i'll market it but that's really really stupid it's best to do things together simultaneously right because your your plans can change uh, the music you write will change and shift throughout the years so it's best to do things simultaneously market it uh do the music you know um contact bloggers playlisters you know get people interested in what you're doing early on build that crowd build that fan base that energy as you're creating your product not once it's finished you know i think that's really important um working full-time i wish i worked full-time earlier uh, i say this because i was a freelancer for many many years i uh, was working in drips and drabs often had no money all my money was going into my music and at the end of every single month i had nothing left to my name and it was like this for a very very long time and yes i was broke yes i had to think three times before i bought a cup of coffee could i afford it it was a very depressing way to live people it was very very sad so what i would say is work save the money and it will accelerate the things you're able to do you'll be able to record your songs quicker you can get better people to mix and master and produce your songs you can get better coverage you can pay for ads you can you know when you have the money life is so much easier right and if you're working part-time drips and drabs you barely have enough money to like keep yourself going do you know what i mean so yes money managing your finances is so important you need the cash flow uh number 
four um it's important to uh, this is kind of similar to number two but hey ho study and implement don't just study and study and study and study because i'll tell you why you'll be studying till the end of time my friend study and implement you're learning about ads start dabbling in ads learn the basics learn it dabble in ads a little bit you're learning about writing a song amazing okay get the lyrics down try recording it yourself middle around on logic pro figure it out yourself oh you're in- interested in mastering amazing okay you learned you looked at a couple of youtube videos blah blah try mastering a song create these like mini projects where you're honing your skills and you're actually like you know like just building a foundation you know like you're not just uh, studying and studying and studying and taking notes and taking notes and taking notes and then before you know it six months has gone by and you haven't done any of the tasks on there because you're so busy just taking notes and listening and listening and, and I'm not saying that's bad it's just I'm saying listening and taking action is more powerful than listening 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 learning 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 you know you learn by doing you see what works by doing stuff to take action you know for a long time I spent a while just learning about marketing just just totally immersing myself in that space and it was so fun I loved it however I wish I learned about marketing and implemented what I was learning at the time you know because I would have I think I would have just learned much quicker rather than being too afraid and sitting back and then thinking no no I don't know enough I don't know enough yet I need to learn more guys you're never gonna know enough you will never know enough just get started that's the key just get started however big however small just get it going and my last bit of advice is get performing get performing turn music into a career early on and shall I tell you how you'll do that busking you have no boss you have no venue owner you've got no one to say you've got no one waiting around for you for their approval you don't need their approval I'm telling you get out into the streets take a speaker and get singing get used to being uncomfortable get used to just putting your mic out it's very very awkward everyone's just walking about getting on with their day half time people are ignoring you but some people will stop and listen some people will take an interest some people will throw you some money you know and automatically it'll give you the confidence of hey you know what I don't need someone to tell me that I'm good enough to play here or that, you know, I've got the right to play in their stupid venue. I can do it myself. I can whip out my speaker. I can go to Oxford Street. I can get a license with the London Underground. I can go to the South Bank. I can do whatever and I can just freaking whip out my music and play it and be a badass. Hell yes, my friend. And you can make money. You can make some sweet money busking, my friend. So that's what I was saying. You know what? It will get you good. It will get you good. That's the thing. You know, I I started busking seriously last year. I wish I was busking 10 years ago. Seriously, I wish I I started this way, way earlier. But I suppose you don't know what you don't know, right? So let's recap. Number one, get focused early. Yes, just, you know, be passionate. See what you're passionate about. Dabble around and find something. And when you find something you love, stay there. Stay there and hone in your focus, guys. Okay? Because you don't want to dabble for too long, then you won't get nothing done. Number two... Um, so say you want to do music, right? Do things together, do things simultaneously, produce your song and market your song at the same time. Okay. Don't just produce the material, wait a year and a half down the line and then think, oh yeah, I'm going to market it now. That was stupid. You've had a whole year of making the song. Why didn't you put stuff up on Instagram from then on, you know, from that time? Cause you would have pretty much within a year, you would have created quite a big buzz around your music, you know? Um, So yeah, so number one, uh, get focused early. Number two, do things simultaneously. Your tasks, do your tasks simultaneously. Uh, Work, cash flow, money. It is a big one, guys. You need money. You need money. Uh, And back then, back in the day, I was like, I don't need money. I don't need money. You need money. You need money, my friends. Uh, Work full time. Number four, uh, do as you study learn and implement what you learn because the more you do and the more mistakes you make the quicker you're going to learn and then five get performing get out there my friends and sing your beautiful music so that's it my top five tips i hope you enjoyed it i love you guys bye